Good morning, it's Lou here from the One Water Yacht Group and this morning I'm going to do a quick walkthrough video of the Riviera 505 SUV which is behind me here and I'll flip the camera around now so we can have a good look around and through the Riviera 505 SUV. So while the exterior of the boat is classic Riviera, it's also got a very contemporary twist to it. Without the flybridge on it, you get a much sleeker looking yacht very handsome looking, but still being able to combine the benefits and the luxuries of a cruising yacht with the fishability. You can see this, this particular version here has been equipped with outriggers and some more rod holders there as well. From the back of the boat, you can start to see where the SUV concept really comes into its own. On the 505, you really start to appreciate the split level mezzanine with the rear cockpit area and also the separate rear transom where you can load your tender. You can see this boat is set up ready to carry the tender on that transom. It's hydraulically lifted so you can just simply drop it in and float the tender off. As we walk through onto the boat, the rear cockpit through here is a fantastic area. Now it's not only for fishing, I think this is a great area even if you're just a water sports enthusiast, if you want to carry dive tanks or setting up things like kite surfers, that sort of thing. I think this is a great area. Over here underneath that console we've got twin grills set up and over this side if I can get my gimbal to play here. Over this side, we've got another refrigeration unit and here a big ice box. As we walk up into the mezzanine area, to the starboard side, we've got a lounge, which folds out to be a day bed. So you can create a nice big lounging area there. Over to the port side, we've got your dining table with a sofa storage underneath that. And of course, this is another feature of all the Riviera is this fantastic access down into the engine room. You can see how big that hatch is there. They're super heavy which really indicates just how well built these boats are as well. While I'm thinking about that, let's come back out to the cockpit for a second. You can see here we've got two big fish boxes, storage boxes there, whether you're into fishing or whether it is just water sports, they're a great storage area. This one has a live well and off to the side here we've got one on each side, another large hatch to get access down to your IPS units for easy servicing and maintenance. And let's step on through onto the interior. The 505 I think really starts to be a highlight in the SUV range. I think you get a lot of creature comforts in a, a 50 footer. To start with entering in here we've got a sofa off to the, off to the starboard side. You've got your helm station. This boat obviously being a one level boat, this is your main helm station here. There is of course rear parking stations, docking stations with your IPS. Over to port, we've got your dinette and the galley. And on a Riviera, the galley is an absolute feature. These boats offer enormous amounts of refrigeration space. You can see they do draw fridges everywhere here. This one also has the drawer dishwasher below there, your microwave convection oven, cooktop, and more refrigeration here. You really, you cannot possibly run out of refrigeration space on a Riviera. As we come through to the helm, you can see we've got everything going on here. The sea zone, which is your hub of everything on a Riviera. That's where you control a lot of the features and functions of the boat. This one has twin Garmin screens and all your helm controls, including of course the joystick and the remotes for the screens. You've got nice big windows there that open up on the side if you need, need to communicate with anyone on deck or just want good ventilation and that's on both sides of the boat. And behind this panel here you'll find your pop-up television. Now we'll step down into the cabin area. And as we come straight forward, we are in the VIP cabin. So this is a forward double cabin. 
Good amounts of storage there, lockers on both sides. Nice light coming in through the twin hatches and also more storage over here. And this is your head for this cabin and it shares that head also with the twin cabin. Let me come in for a bit of a close up here. So again, beautifully finished. The woodwork on the Rivieras is also always stunning. And then back in here, we actually have a third cabin. So we've got a bunk cabin there again. Pretty good storage space and two nice berths. Now the 505 also gives you a laundry unit or the possibility to have a laundry unit. So behind that door there, we've got your dryer and there's a washing machine in the, the lower section here. So that makes these boats, I think, really useful if you're planning to go for a longer period of time. It's a lot less packing and a little bit of laundry. Makes the boat nicely functional. And the master cabin on this boat, I think, is a real highlight as we come through. You'll see in here, we've actually got a little walk-in closet. So there's a great amount of hanging space there. And some shelves. Storage space for bags, things like that. And then we step down into the master itself. On the second step here, we stop off into the head. Again, lots of nice natural light coming in through that window and also the porthole for ventilation. Nice big shower area. And down into the master cabin. And again, this is a 50 foot sport yacht styling. So to have a master cabin like this with this much space is quite something and they're very cleverly stepped around the cabin to create full headroom as you move around as well. You can see the cutouts in the ceiling are doing the same thing. It allows for a combination of functionality between the main salon level and this level and creating maximum headroom. Now there's lots of great storage over here bedside table, your TV is back over here, and this one has a chaise longue optioned on it, but you have choices of whether you want more storage or the lounge area. Beautifully finished and detailed, and nice big windows of course, that's pretty much an industry standard these days. We're back outside now and I wander around the side deck of the boat up to the bow area. Now up on the bow of this boat, lots of nice space up here that you can create with extra cushions. It has two large lockers on either side as well for fenders and also deck equipment. And of course the hatches that go through to that forward cabin giving all that light in there and of course your windlass up on the bow with chain locker and also storage locker and as we look back to the boat you can see those huge windows really give a lot of natural light on the interior of the yacht and also great visibility from your home station so that was a brief walkthrough of the Riviera 505 SUV and the SUV range runs from 40 feet up to now 64, the 645, so we're talking mid 60s. Um, it's a big range of yachts for Riviera and this cross functionality, whether it be for the extra entertaining area in the rear there for your grilling and, and entertaining, whether it's for fishing or just setting up water sports this functionality of having the mezzanine level and that separate area I think is fantastic um, and of course they're still finished off as you'd expect from a Riviera you get all the great sea, sea handling capabilities that you expect with a Riviera and just the general build quality that comes with the brand so I hope you enjoyed have a great day I'm Lou from One Water Yacht Group